being here. My name is Cheryl Gleason, the KAY State Director. And on behalf of the High School Activities Association and all the staff, uh, we're super excited and super pumped uh, that you're gonna be with us today for this awesome experience. What I would like to do now is, uh, I don't need you to stand, uh, but as we do every year at KAY Leadership Camp, we do say the pledge, and I know a lot of you say the KAY pledge in your meetings, uh, which is very, very important. And by the way, this pledge was written by KAY members just like you years ago, and we continue to go in and update it. So please don't stand and please keep your, uh, your screens muted, uh, but I will get you started and we'll just kind of say this together where we happen to be seated. So hey, uh, I will, as um, a member of the Kansas Association hey, for Cheryl. Youth. Cheryl. Yes, ma'am. We can't see the, you'll need to switch your PowerPoint. There we go. Well, how come it's not big? Can you see it now? Are we good? We're good. Sorry, we're better when we're live, but we're, <laughs> but we're good. We're just showing you today that if something gets in our way, we're not gonna let it stop us. So sorry for the technical difficulties. I'm sure we'll smooth sail tomorrow. So again, let's do that KAY pledge. I will, as a member of the Kansas Association for Youth, endeavor to maintain the high ideals of my organization to make my personality a positive influence in the life of my school and my community and to pass on an association which will be a challenge and inspiration to future members. Thanks so much for doing that and sharing that pledge. That's really, really special and really, really important. As many of you know, uh, our world came to an abrupt change uh, in March. Uh, I personally was at state basketball on the 12th of March, and all of a sudden the world was pulled out from underneath us uh, when the COVID-19 arrived and, and basically said, we are done uh, being together with people. And then a few days later, the governor shut schools down for the rest of the school year, uh, and our world totally changed. Uh, and so we had everything in place for camp, uh, we had this awesome staff in front of you, 35 outstanding individuals that were prepared and ready and excited to come and serve you uh, and make a difference in your lives as we do every year. Uh, the the COVID-19 though prevented that and on the 9th of May, I had to make that decision that we were not going to be able to meet at Rock Springs uh, for KY Leadership Camp as many of you know. Uh, we were disappointed, uh, we were grieving as you were, uh, but we also knew that in KAY, when things get in your way and don't go the way you want them to go, uh, you persevere and find a way to make it happen. If you've been to camp before, one year it rained on Thursday night when we were supposed to have the campfire. We don't just scratch it and do nothing. Uh, we find a way to make it happen. It may not be the way we wanted it to, but it will happen. And so uh, we are bringing to you a live today, tomorrow and Wednesday, and also with some recorded sessions uh, virtual KLC. So we're very, very excited about the opportunity that we have to do some things. Uh, it is the next best thing uh, to being together at Rock Springs. I think a lot of you know, and we've been sharing this, but uh, we have three days of live sessions. And those sessions, obviously, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, uh, reminding you that each day when you come on, we'll make a general announcement at 945, and then we're going to have a PowerPoint. Uh, tomorrow's PowerPoint will be uh, the PowerPoint from camp last year, and it's awesome. So if you attended last year, uh, get on and join that and, and see what we all do at KY Leadership Camp at Rock Springs. And then Wednesday, we're going to talk about service projects, and we're going to have a lot of pictures up of your clubs across the state doing various service projects. So uh, that will be some stuff to allow you to join in as we wait for everybody uh, to get online and join us. Uh, each day at this session, I'll share some information and I will have an announcement for you, a message. Uh, today, we have two outstanding staff members that are going to do an energizer for you. Uh, we will have an activity today. As you can see, we're going to be doing true colors. Uh, tomorrow, we will be having the area president's meeting and the area presidents will be online. Uh, we'll have an area meeting and pick that area project just like we do at camp. And then Wednesday, of course, we'll do uh, Service Projects Unlimited, where we're gonna be able to open it up 
and let you guys share uh, service project ideas. We'll make a ginormous list of what those are and be able to make those available to all of you. Also today, after the, after the program part, uh, we will then have a COVID-19 service uh, project. And each day, uh, a couple of staff members are coming together to give you some great ideas of things that you may want to consider doing uh, back at home or in your community. So that's kind of an overview of what the live sessions look like. The recorded sessions, we're very, very excited about these. The staff has been busy working to plan and prepare uh, some outstanding presentations for you. Uh, we really are excited about the content of these sessions. Uh, we will show you on Wednesday the staff members that have been uh, directed and, and have done an outstanding job being creative and coming up with some great content for those sessions. These will be made available on Thursday the 30th and they will be available for 30 days uh, when it comes to getting credit for your KAY club. Uh, goal award and I'll explain a little bit more about that but again you can see we've covered a wide variety of topics uh, and there's some great stuff there that I know your club is going to benefit from uh, as you prepare for this school year. When we didn't have the opportunity to be in, at camp for KY Leadership Camp we wondered what would the gold award requirement look like and the blue award requirement uh, in some sense. Uh, I talked to the area sponsors, I talked to the staff, uh, we had a lot of ideas and we finally decided that you know we want clubs every club even those that never have the opportunity to go to camp uh, to have the opportunity to get that gold award if they so choose uh, and so these are the requirements that we decided to put in place we felt they were fair and just um, if your club has three options if you want to have somebody from your club attend each day of the live sessions uh, then we would ask to have members attend some of our recorded sessions. Uh, one of the requirements is the president session must be one of the four uh, if you're going with option number one. If you choose to go with option two, you can see we just doubled that to eight sessions. And if you attend one day of live sessions, uh, then you would watch 12 of those sessions. I would encourage your clubs, quite frankly, uh, to get your officers and board members together and assign your, your people in those specific areas uh, to watch all of these. Uh, you can watch them and, and uh, benefit from them a great deal. So don't let things stop you uh, based on this requirement. We're gonna have the opportunity to keep attendance. Uh, so we're gonna know how to track if your club uh, participated in these events. So again, very, very excited about the things that we're getting ready to offer for you. When things changed for us in March, uh, you know, we were, we were all wondering what camp would look like. And I will say this, uh, that on the day uh, that we were to, to announce that camp would not be held, uh, we already had 285 campers registered. We were maxed out. In fact, I was looking at places to put more campers uh, because we had such a strong turnout of kids that wanted to come to leadership camp. And then we got the news that Rock Springs would be shutting down until next spring. Uh, and we knew that social distancing and, and all of those things were very, very important and there was still a, an unknown and still is about the health and well-being of people. And so the decision was made not to bring this large mass of people together uh, to have KY Leadership Camp. I don't know about you, but you know, I'm a toucher and I love to see people and I miss your smiling faces, but we live, we cram you in those housing areas and have fun. And it's all about making contact and hugging and high-fiving and you just can't have camp at Rock Springs and not do that. Um, and you know, try as we may, we would break every rule there was. So uh, the, the smart thing, the safe thing to do is uh, to bow out and to do uh, virtual camp. And so I just wanna share some information about uh, the theme that, that was picked for today or for this year, because it really speaks, I think, to who we are and what we do. Uh, you know, the experiences that we have daily uh, from the impact of COVID on our health and our welfare and our society are very, very obvious. And uh, we all are experiencing things in different ways. Uh, but at the same time, I think personally, uh, even though it's a different world, we've seen a lot of good things take place. Uh, we've also seen a lot of people that are helping others. We've seen neighbors that are becoming more neighborly. Uh, we're seeing families develop special times together and special bonds. We're seeing an explosion 
of creativity. And we're seeing countless expressions of gratitude, uh, really seeing some outstanding things from people based on this COVID-19 and the change in lifestyle it's causing. KY members, we know that we can make a difference and we always have through our acts of leadership and service. Uh, and what we're seeing is what we've always done. We've always done this, we've always gotten this. And so the exciting thing for me is other people are finally figuring this out and we're not alone anymore. Other people are showing leadership and service and, and caring for their fellow man. And uh, when they do that, just like us, that positive example is gonna spread. Unlike the COVID, we don't want that to spread, but we want what we do uh, to spread a great deal. Uh, we're all in this together. And even if we can't hold hands right now, we're all in this together. And sometimes when the bad things happen, the good things uh, get in the way and, and really do make a difference. So as we stay apart physically and practice compassion for the well-being of others, we're gonna continue to be strong today. We're gonna continue to be stronger tomorrow, but we are always strongest together. So I'm really excited about this theme this year. I think it speaks to who we are and what we are. Uh, and we're gonna persevere, we're gonna get through this, uh, and we're going to be the leaders in showing others how to do it the right way. So thank you for the opportunity for me to, to share with you the theme uh, for this year. I'm very, very excited about that. Our theme for today is strong today. And uh, you know, it could mean a lot of things to a lot of different people, but I, I personally think that each of you are stronger than you know. Uh, there are things inside you that if we were at leadership camp, uh, you would be tested. You would discover uh, skills and abilities and you would discover that, that confidence that you have. Uh, and we hope that the absence of physical camp at Rock Springs will still allow you the opportunity as you pursue and continue to be strong leaders in your club uh, to find those skills and things that make you uh, who you are and what you have to offer for your club. Each one of you are stronger uh, than you believe. Today I want to tell you a little bit real quickly about Rosie the Riveter. And I didn't realize that great minds think alike, but I had already prepared this session. Uh, and the other night on the news, all of a sudden they did a report on Rosie the Riveter. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm even talking about that uh, next week. So if you happen to see that, you know a little bit about it. Uh, but this is a picture of Rosie the Riveter. And my message isn't about women being strong and my message isn't about feminism or anything like that. My message is about people doing what they need to do, doing what is right. Now, for those of you that are young and for all of us for that matter, uh, because I wasn't born then either, uh, World War II uh, was an event that took place in our country, it started September 1st of, of 1939, and it ended September 2nd of 1945. Uh, a lot of fathers and grandfathers of yours, and maybe your great-great-grandfathers, uh, were called up and to fight uh, in the war. And so when this happened, uh, um, it was very, very important that there were people back home uh, that were doing things to keep things going. Uh, in 1942, especially, uh, when the men were called up in the military, uh, the women were asked to step up and start working in the factories and shipyards. You see, they needed to keep things moving along when it came to making warheads and to making uh, those B-52s and all those other things that the men would typically be doing. And so it was very, very important. Well, while these women were working in these factories, they would wear bonnets or, or scarves, if you will, uh, on their heads to tie their hair up so that their hair wouldn't get caught in the machinery and cause any kind of an injury or accident for them. Uh, and so that's the idea behind uh, them working in those, in those military uh, service yards and in those factories uh, to make sure nothing happened. Uh, to show the teamwork of those uh, American women and, and what they've done, uh, Rosie the Riveter, uh, was an idea that came about by J. Howard Miller in 1943. And it was featured on Saturday on the Saturday Evening Post and a lot of other things. One of the original Rosie the Riveters is right here. She is alive and well today. Her name is Mae Cryer. She is 94 years old. Uh, and she was employed by Boeing in Seattle back in 1942. Uh, she built B-17s and B-29 bombers to help the war effort. Uh, she is on a crusade now 
for Rosie the Riveter not to be forgotten. Uh, and she is doing things now to make a difference uh, in the lives of others by making face masks uh, for COVID-19. I want to read a statement. Somebody asked her one day, you know, you did all of those things years ago and you didn't have to. And now you're serving your country again and making masks and you don't have to. And her comment was, you know, they said, you helped out now and, and you're helping your country win this battle over the virus. And she said, you know, we make a living by what we do and what we get out of life. Uh, and it's very, very important for us to know uh, that you do what you need to do uh, because it, it's necessary. You know, I was talking last night with the staff and, and one of them said something about, uh, they were told by uh, somebody in their business that they had to do something and the staff member turned around and said, I don't have to do this, I get to do this. I get to do it because it's important and it's gonna make a difference in the lives of others. And so I think the message from Rosie the Riveter uh, is that we do what we need to do. We stand ready. Uh, we're always looking as KY members to see what is it we can do to step up and make a difference in the lives of others. And we certainly appreciate what Rosie has done. I love this statement by Sir Winston Churchill. We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. And folks, this really speaks to the motto of K-A-Y, today for tomorrow. What we do today makes better lives for lots and lots of people, but it also makes their tomorrows better. It also affects us and makes our tomorrows better. And being in K-A-Y makes each of us who we are today. So again, please think about the fact that you are stronger than you really, really know. And I hope the opportunity and experiences this year are gonna provide you a chance to get to discover just exactly who you are and what you have to offer. So I appreciate the opportunity to share that message with you today. Uh, this week, I'll be sharing other messages with you on Strong Today and or Stronger Tomorrow and Strongest Together. Uh, and we'll talk about a lot of sayings and things that we do in KAY, uh, again, just because we can. So. Thank you for this opportunity, and I'm going to continue to move on forward at this time. Let me hit my screen. We're going to have a, a time for an energizer right now, uh, and it's exciting to always have energizers. If you've been to KY Leadership Camp, you know that on the morning, uh, each morning we have an, uh, a general session, and we are sharing with you an energizer that you could do back home with all of the members in your club. And so today we're very, very excited. Uh, to have Kelly and Stacy uh, lead us through the Energizer. I'm going to quit sharing the screen so that we can get back and see them. And there they are up at the top waving at you. Uh, and I'm gonna turn this over to those two right now so they can give, give us some, an Energizer for the group. All Hi. right. Hi, everybody. Let me see you wave. We would love to see as many cameras as possible. It's gonna be a whole lot more fun with your cameras. All right, guys, get ready to move. We are going to go on a scavenger hunt. Woo so Stacy's so going to have your first item, and we're going to give you 20 seconds, and we want you to try to go find the item. Creativity counts. So let's get going, Stacy. All right, we're going to do this. I, want, I don't want to see anybody on the screens. I want you to go get what we say, okay? Are you ready? Are you in with us? All right, the first thing we're going to do is go get a mask. Go, 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 go. Go. We already have masks on. Oh, Crystal, Krista. <laughs> Tessa, Mason. Oh, you are so fast, Janelle. Oh, look at you go. I Keep see you. Tessa, Dawson, Caroline. Good job, Shelby. Oh, there's Alex and Jose. All right. So you've got the idea that should have been fairly easy because we have them all right beside us all the time. Okay, this one is something orange. Orange stands for enthusiasm. Ready, go. Go, 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 Lily. Oh, good, Bella. Good morning. Oh, got orange ears. What is that? What is that? Callum, you've got something. 
Oh, Cheryl has a highlighter. Woohoo! Oh, very good, very good. Oh my gosh. Elizabeth Hunt, I like your pen. Katie, I love it. I see cheese. Oh no, that's a post-it. Susan, I thought it was cheese. Oh, scissors. Thank nice. you. Love it. Reese's, perfect. All right. I see a blanket. Okay. Got them warmed up now, Stacy. What's the next thing? Okay, the next thing we're gonna do. So in K A Y, one of our privileges is to live a healthy lifestyle. Okay, so we want you to run and find some sort of health-related item. Ready? Go! 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 Come on, J C Myers. Go! Go, oh, Jarrell. Come on, J C. <laughs> has hand sanitizer. Water. Very good. Ooh, water. Water. That's good. Now, what's that, Emma Johnson? What you got? Eye drops, oh. <laughs> medicine, toothbrush. <laughs> Siddharth, what is that? Oh, I see Tylenol. Oh, maybe eye drops. Bananas. Good. I like the pull cue. Oh, a thermometer. Very good. Very good. Okay. In K A Y, we don't have to do anything. We get to do everything, and we get to play and have fun. So I want you to find a recreational item. Ready, go. Go, 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 go. Aw, dog. Oh, uh, Rubik's Cube. Ball. Manny, Mom's my God. Your phone, okay, kinda, kinda, I can see. Rubik's Cube, oh. Lily's got a jump rope, I love it. Get bow, I love it. Oh, yeah, a pool floaty. Oh, I, I see. I love it, oh. sorry. Leah Johnson, I love it. And it's got a book. Andrew yes. Hubert, I see what you got. Love it. What is that? Oh, a beach volleyball. What is that? Avery and Landon, what you got there? A Frisbee. Love it. Right. Okay, right, are we baby. ready for the next one? Okay, so you know at camp, our motto is to laugh, love, and lift, okay? So we want you to go find something that allows you or lets you laugh, love, or lift. Go, 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 go. Come on, Andrew. Come on, Tess. Laugh, love, and lift, oh, it's trickier. Yeah, he's got his phone. Some of you aren't moving. Oh, you have your mom or your grandma. That's sweet. I love it. Is what you got? A dog, oh. a baby. Mary's got a teddy bear. I see Monopoly. Got a game. This is so fun. Aw, look at all the babies. Look at all the fur babies. Got some Chex Mix. Oh, and a guitar. Oh, a kitty cat. Oh, what would we do without our fur animals? Diana, oh, Callum. Callum's lifting, lift literally. All right. I love oh, Bella that. Bella is too. Very good. Okay. Now this is this is going to be tricky because some of you might have used this item already, but during this pandemic, we have learned to appreciate things, right? So I want you to find something that you appreciate now more than ever, not something you've already used. Okay, what do we got? Oh, I see Bella has got all. a book. Pictures of family. What's McKenna got? A phone? Oh, family, maybe. Oh, we've used our phone a whole lot more. You can say Carly, in contact. What Cheryl, what do you got? What are you appreciating, Cheryl? Face mask. Face Bible. mask. I love Toilet it. Toilet paper. Uh, Alex Powell, Josie, what you got? A oh, phone and a book. Love it. Addie, struck off, what you got? Very good, Thank you guys. You. You're being creative. Artistic. Thinking creative, Addie, I love it. Katie, Hi, Stacey, what's got next? Family, okay. All right. And you can do something you've already got, okay? No cheating here. We're gonna do, we at camp, we like to think creative relay. That's another one of our objectives and our privileges. So I want you to find something creative. We are creative at camp. We want you to be creative now. Something that's helped you be creative. Okay? Eddie, don't bring your paints back up. You gotta get something else. 
Madison Brackney, what you got? Show me something, girl. Alex, I like it. You have the, uh, what are those? Pencils, colored pencils, markers, and the Cricut cup. Yep, yep. Katie Etheridge, I, I see. Oh, cookbooks. Oh, look at that K cup up there. That's so cool. And oh, crayons. Yeah. I see your crayons. And what's that, Mason Stewart? What you got? A paint, is that a pencil? Big old pencil. Sienna Dunn, what you got? Oh, I love that. Is that a book? Like a coloring book? Fantastic. Okay, we've got one more. This one's tricky, especially if you have my letter. I want you to find something that starts with the first letter of your first name. Ready, go. Go, 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 go. Ah, Cheryl has a chair. Very good. Good job. Bella has a B. Oh, Our, what is that? John, Anita. Has oh, it's a hairbrush. A hairbrush. Yeah. Good job. Ella Anita. has Cheerios. Uh, Tess. Oh, Tess. Tess Austin's got a T. I like it. J.C. Myers, what you got? Has a tissue. Uh, I see Avery Mason and Lance has a magic eight ball. Like uh, apple and uh, what's that? Lipstick. <laughs> I Yay. so creative I good job you guys but i love it Jaden evans what you got <laughs> Woo! good job everybody i did great thank you for playing our game this is a an example of a quick and easy energizer you guys can do in person or virtually for any of your meetings Yep, this was a great virtual activity. I loved it. And hopefully you guys got yourselves moving a little bit. If you like what we did, wave your little hands. Let's see your hands, woohoo! Okay. Great, thank you, Stacy and Kelly. Good job. I think, uh, you know, it's always, it's never, we never count anything out is what I'm trying to say. Um, there's always a way to do everything, and uh, we're showing you that, that even virtually you can do an energizer, but also we're going to have energizers every day, and some of these hopefully you're going to be able to do in person, uh, and that is certainly our goal as we move forward with this school year. So thanks to those two for their ideas. We really do appreciate that. We're getting ready to move into our True Colors uh, presentation. We have four outstanding staff members uh, that are going to work with you, and so um, we have a little extra time, ladies, if you need it, uh, but we'll try to stay as best we can on schedule as well. But I'm going to turn this over to uh, Lydia to uh, get that PowerPoint started and, and any direction or instruction that needs to be made. Uh, please go ahead and do that now. All right, True Colors team, I think we're ready to jump in whenever you are. All right, we're ready. Ready. Okay, so today we're going to do um, true colors and we're going to discover our personal style and strengths um, that shape our leadership style. Understanding our own strengths and stressors helps us grow as leaders. And as we learn more about our leadership strengths, that's the leadership strengths that surround us in our clubs or in our homes, um, then we can better appreciate and utilize one another. So, Jolene. Jolene. Yes. Sorry. Before that's okay. We before we begin, and what you just said was awesome, can we back up that slide and have the staff introduce themselves very quickly? Most definitely. Would you mind doing that, Jolene? You start sure. first. Sure, yeah. Uh, my name is Jolene Goodhart-Peterson. I'm joining you from Clay Center, Kansas today. I um, am originally from Otis Bison, where I was a KAY member there for six years at the middle school and high school. And this is my 20th year with the KAY Leadership Camp staff. Uh, my name is Marlene Kelter. Um, I currently live in Lenexa, Kansas. This is my 37th year, I believe, on the camp staff. I was originally from the Clifton Clyde KAY Club. Um, I currently am a physical therapist and manage the outpatient rehab center at Menorah Medical Center here in Kansas City. And I'm excited to be here with you all today. Hi, everyone. I'm Stacy Miranda. I'm from Shawnee, Kansas, originally from Iola, Kansas. I am 
so excited to be here with you today. I would have been on staff for 23 years. I was a camper for five and I am an insurance agent here in the Kansas City area. So, so happy you're here and I can't wait for today. I'm Kelly Garcia and I am originally from Derby, Kansas, but I live in Edmond, Oklahoma now. I have been or would have been on staff for 25 years this year. I'm so sad to not be there physically, but so excited to see you here. Um, I am a Chief Development Officer for DECA. And I'm going to jump in really quickly and say, Kelly put it in the chat, but you will need a writing utensil and some sort of paper uh, for, this, for this session. So if you don't have that, make sure you grab it. All right, so um, with our first instruction, grab um, some piece of paper. It can be like a sticky note. It could be just scratch paper. It could be grid paper. You can split something in half because you're not going to be doing a lot of writing today. Um, and you need a writing utensil. So you can share a piece of paper with someone around you. It could be the column or the margin of a piece of paper or of a magazine or a newspaper. It could be the back of an envelope. Your writing utensil could be a pen, a pencil, a color, a crayon, marker, a highlighter, and you're going to number that um, piece of paper 1 through 11. So just vertically, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way through 11. And as we go through this assessment, and you all read them aloud, you'll see them on the screen as well. Um, but you want to select the letter that best describes you. There's a lot of great choices up there. You want to think about what best describes you. Not necessarily the person next to you, but what describes you. This is really going to help us hone in on our own leadership. All right, so here's question one. So next to number one, you're going to write down the letter that best describes you. So I see myself as A, fun-loving, B, problem-solving, C, a people person, or D, achievement-oriented. So you're gonna select the letter that, make, that best describes you. Are you A, fun-loving, B, problem solving, C, a people person, or D, achievement oriented. Can I see some thumbs up when you're good on that one? All right, awesome. All right, question two. When I make decisions, A, I do it quickly and go with the first impression. B, I think about it, consider the options, and then decide. C, I listen to my feelings and consider how my decisions will affect others. D, I take it seriously and always try to make the right decision. So select the letter that best describes you. All right, we're ready for question three. I like to A, Act on a moment's notice and take risks. B, think outside the box. C, help maintain a sense of harmony and togetherness. D, follow the rules and inspect authority. So select the letter that makes most sense for you. What do you most like to do? And you just want to select the one that fits you the best. Okay, give me a thumbs up if we're ready for the next question. All right, here we go. Here we go to question four. At school, I am A, outgoing and flexible. B, independent and insightful, C, friendly and communicative, 
D, hardworking and organized. So which one best describes you when you are at school? Also, Jolene, we might add, if anybody doesn't know what a word means, it's okay to ask. So just put it in the chat and, um, or send it to Lydia and uh, we can get those help, help you out with those words. Okay, question five. At school, it is most important for me to A, have variety and new opportunities, B, be challenged mentally. C, get along with everyone. Or D, have predictable situations. So which is most important for you when you are at school? Okay, let's go on to question six. In groups, I am the A, energizer, B, big thinker, C, relationship builder, or D, organizer. So which best describes you when you're working in groups? Do you bring the energy? Do you think big? Do you build relationships amongst the team? Or do you help organize your team? All right, question seven. My strongest skill. So my strongest skill is A, taking risks and trying new things. B, learning new information and seeing all sides. C, helping others and building relationships. Or D, being organized and reliable. So what is your strongest skill? Select the letter that best describes you. Okay, we're ready for question eight. Question eight, I am most stressed. So these are the stressors, the things that stress you out. What are you most stressed by? I am most stressed by A, feeling restricted or limited, B, feeling ineffective or incompetent, C, feeling disingenuous or insincere, or D, feeling unorganized or chaotic. So what stresses you out most? Jolene, can you explain C? Definitely. So feeling disingenuous or insincere might mean that you're not being true to yourself or that you're not, um, that you're not, Uh, being sincere, being truthful, being kind of hard to explain, isn't it? It is. You know, Tess just asked, uh, can we write down two? And you know, on all of these tests, I would love to do that too. Um, it's just hard to pick one because I think all of us can pick all four perhaps or certainly rank them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also, so write down two if you want. Also in the chat, someone said a good way to describe that. Donita, thank you, says fake. That's a good mm -hmm. one. Or not being authentic. That might be being disingenuous or insincere. Not being real and not being genuine. Yeah. Okay, question nine. My friends would describe me as A, 
exciting and spontaneous, B, intelligent and logical, C, emotional and caring, or D, responsible and organized. So how would your friends describe you? Okay, moving on to question 10. Others are drawn to me because I am A, funny and charming, B, calm and collected, C, open and honest, or D, loyal and giving. So why are others drawn to you? All right, here's our last question, question 11. Lydia, would you be, oh, thank you. It is most important for me to A, have fun and explore, B, find creative solutions, C, make others happy, or D, do the right thing. So it's most, what is it most important for you to do? This is our final question. Okay, so now that you've answered those questions, I want you to count your letters. How many A's do you have? How many B's do you have? How many C's do you have? How many D's do you have? Really, we're just looking to select the letter that you selected most. Which is the letter that you selected most? And you can identify that by writing it big on the side, by circling it. So you're counting those letters and seeing which is the letter that appears the most for you. There's a good question about what if you're half and half? So what if you have a tie? Um, on this next slide, you're gonna see what those, what each of these are. And so as you read those, decide which of them makes most sense for you. Like, okay, this one describes me a little bit more. Whether it's this column, this column, this column, or this column. So this next slide's gonna be kind of your tiebreaker if you have a tie. So if you answered mostly A's, so when you counted up all your letters, A was the letter that appeared the most, you are orange. You identify with people who are orange. If you have mostly B's, then you identify with people who are green. If you have mostly C's, then you identify with people who are blue. And if you have D's, mostly D's, you identify with people who are gold. We're gonna talk a little bit more about um, what each of these mean, but for those of you that have a tie, does seeing this list help you kind of say, okay, I'm a little bit more of this than I am that? I see some people are commenting with what they are, which is fun. If there are any questions, be sure to type them in the chat box. And what I want you to do now is you're going to add your true color to your name on Zoom. So, for example, um, I am green, so I'm going to change my, rename myself to be Green Jolene. So go ahead and 
um, click on your name. You might click on your picture and click the three little dots and then rename yourself. You might need to click on participants, which is the little um, people icon. Find your name on that list and rename yourself. You might need to cl uh, click the more button if you're on a mobile device and change your name that way. And if you have multiple people kind of on the same device, if you, have, if you can get people around the same device, um, that would be helpful. So maybe all greens get together around one device like a phone, um, oranges get together on one device and so on. And Joe, if I could just jump in here, it's really, really important that everybody rename themselves so we know which color you are. If you're having any issues with that, you can message me in the chat and I can help you change yours. Uh, we wanna make sure everybody has their true color in front of their name. Very, very important that we do that. So message me if, if you're having any issues changing it. Okay, while you are changing your name, we're gonna tell you about what each of these colors mean. Um, we're going to start with Orange Stacy. Hello, everyone. Hello, my fellow oranges. So we like action. To go for it on a moment's notice, we are witty, charming, and bold. We see life as a game here and now. We like impulse. We like adventure. We like to compete. And we're skillful in what we do. We like fun, change, and excitement. Um, we live life to the limit and have a cheerful outlook always. We learn by doing and we are natural troubleshooters. Go orange. So if you had mostly A's and you are orange. If you have mostly B's, then you identify with people who are green. And those of us that are green, we are curious, investigating, and form our own ideas. We like to look at the big picture. We're cool, calm, and collected. We like to be smart and enjoy activities that require problem solving. We value intelligence, insight, fairness, and justice. We like to set our own standards, and we enjoy seeking fundamental truths. So if you selected B, then you identify with people who are green. If you selected C, then you identify with people who are blue. Kelly, tell us about blues. So we are people people. We look for meaning in our lives. We like to get along with people and look after them. We like to express ourselves. We're honest and we like to be told we're doing well. We fit in well in situations. We want to be important in people's lives and we think about the future, a perfect world, good friends and love. Yay, blue. If you selected mainly D's, you are gold. We are the organized people, the goal people. People can count on me. My actions can be predicted. I am always ready for tomorrow. Thus, we live the KAY motto of today for tomorrow. I am loyal, giving, and like to take care of others. I need to be useful. I am practical and sensible. I value home and family and have a strong sense of right and wrong. I follow the rules and do respect authority. So if you selected mainly D's, you are, you identify with people who are gold. Now, here's the thing, you might be seeing that there's a lot that we all have, uh, maybe you're identifying with multiple colors, you're reading things like, well, I can identify with that. We each have um, all of these colors within us and certainly these aren't a place to necessarily pigeon ourselves in and that this is the only place that we belong, but, um, 
this helps us kind of identify our leadership style. That way we can go in and we can, um, we can best hone our strengths. We can also recognize our stressors so we can try to um, anticipate some of that. So I will turn this over to Kelly. If you wanna to advance to the next slide, Lydia, this kind of shows the, again, if you're A's, you're orange, if you're selected mainly B, you're green, if you selected mainly C, you're blue, if you selected mainly D, we're gold, and we're gonna talk more about what those mean in just a minute. So we are working behind the scenes to get you all slated into breakout rooms, and I know some of you are having some issues with that. So we're working behind the scenes to get that figured out. Uh, we've given some directions to those of you who are in a group. So hopefully um, you, okay, Sublette, you're blue. Awesome. Krista, are we good to go? I think we're just missing one person. I think Mandy. Okay, Mandy. What's it gonna be? Are you orange? Are you blue? Are you gold? Are you green? And you can you can uh, just chat it or maybe unmute yourself. And the great thing is, if you end up in the wrong room for your color, you're still going to get some great takeaways. Um, so if if there's a mistake in any way, you're still going to have some fun in the room that you're in. And we have an opportunity uh, to change your name if you haven't already. So message me, and we'll get you taken care of. But in the meantime, we're going to have some fun in some breakout rooms. Yep, and I think we're ready to go, Lydia. So we can advance to, I think, slide 27 or there, this one. All right, when you go into your breakout room with your color type, you are going to work together to brainstorm the list of strengths as your color and the list of things that stress you out as your color. So in a moment, you're gonna be sent to a room and if you get a prompt to leave, you can go ahead and click that, but we're all gonna reconvene in a breakout room here in just a moment. See you soon. <laughs> it wasn't nearly enough time though, Megan. Oh, was that was too fast. <laughs> well, the blue people were on a roll. We had lots of things to talk about and share. And yeah, we could have... Really cool. Did your goal we're make a little quiet in the nice green one? room, but... Well, we Gold was a little stressful because, you know, there's a little bit of chaos because some were writing and, you know, us gold people don't like that because it was everywhere, but lots of great stuff. It was awesome. Well, we like to visit first and I was too chatty and we only got a few stressors because we had to play with the annotating. <laughs> That's real life. That is real life. And right. somebody has marked on our board here. How does that make you feel gold, Marlene? That's, that's tough, but I can deal with it. Sometimes we just have to step outside of our zone. <laughs> oh, somebody, grr, somebody growled at us. <laughs> Let's do a little summary of the strengths. And, and Stacy, because you're orange, we're gonna let you go first. Okay, well, we, again, didn't get to brainstorm our strengths, but I think this will sum it up. And, and oranges, if you wanna type in the chat, if these don't, don't cover it, let us know. But we are natural negotiators. Our leadership style is competitive, action-oriented, and exciting. Our strengths are attracting other people, making tasks fun. We like to be flexible and versatile. You ask us to do something and we are on it. We are quick actioned. We focus on the here and now. We don't really plan. If you call us up to be spontaneous, to go do something with a service project, we are so in and we will make sure it is a good time. We have plenty of energy and um, hold on. I need to move my chat so I can read that last word. Oh, keep the energy. Yeah, keeping the tasks fun. We already covered that. So that's Stacey, what, what are some are. of your stressors? You might have not got to talk about these, but some of the stressors that typically orange, people who are orange identify. We, we did stressors first, actually. And is that um, slide they broke up? the rules. I know. Of course Sorry. they did something different. It wouldn't be right. orange otherwise. Next I had, slide. I said stressors written down first. 
But that's okay. We're flexible and we adapted, right, Oranges? And so on the next it. slide, things that stress us out, some of the things that we did have written in our room, we had um, quiet people. Um, we had, um, let's see, what are some of the other things, Crystal, that we had in that room written down if she's in here? I'm in here. It was a lot of um, uh, silence. Somebody said silence at the very end. Yes. We don't like waiting. We don't like criticism. We uh, lack, we don't like to feel stifled, like lack of freedom freaks us out. Um, repetition sometimes gets boring for us. Um, unnecessary routines. We don't really love that. Um, distractions. Oh, Talk about that whole squirrel thing. Woo, that's us, hands down. Um, we get bored easy and we don't like too much structure. Like we like a little bit of flexibility. So those are things that kind of stress us out. Good job. How about well, as for up? greens, people who are green, we are excellent problem solvers in terms of our strengths. Um, our leadership style is calm and logical and intellectual. Our strengths include pride in technical decisions, making decisions without emotion, and considering all possible solutions. As terms of what we expect for people who are green, um, we take an analytical approach, we encourage change or improvements, and we follow through on tasks. In terms of our stressors, sometimes too many details stress us out. If the expectations are unclear, then we don't know what to do necessarily. We wanna make sure that we meet expectations. Um, busy work can make us frustrated. We don't need to do the same thing over and over again um, if we have other things we can do. Um, incompetence or sometimes um, a lack of intelligence or not knowing something is, is stressful to us. A lack of support from those around us can be stressful. Um, we don't necessarily like to waste time with chit chat, so we don't, we don't like that type of thing. And having to make decisions without all the information really stresses us out. Very good. Well, we, as blue people, we like the chit chat. We're excellent relationship builders. We value harmony. We're caring and concerned and democratic, which just means that we like to make the decisions for the best, for the majority of the folks that are there. We are inspirational, creative, and positive. And we expect to be able to express our opinions. We are sensitive to others and we believe in individual development. And some of the things that stress us out would be on that next slide. Would be disharmony and conflict and negativity, um, any kind of tension and aggression, a lot of pressure to make decisions, being overextended, being too busy and having to say no real. Okay, those of us identifying as gold, we are considered natural leaders. Our leadership style is more of a traditional, um, trustworthy, we're detail oriented. We have our lists and we're checking things off in our lists. Um, our strengths are that we're organized, they're punctual, we're precise, we tend to follow the rules. People can trust that if we say we're going to be there, we're going to be there or we're gonna find somebody that can be there. Um, our expectations, we expect loyalty and commitment, respect. We expect to be on time. So when that timer started clicking down and we had not got very many stressor to the stressors, that was creating stress, but, but we were able to adapt and overcome. So, and when we talk about in terms of stressors, chaos so you know there was some writing all over the screen we couldn't get things going to begin with so that was a little bit stressful but we made it happen um we don't really like ambiguity um, we want details um lack of direction we want a clear path and see which direction we're going um insufficient time to complete tasks so you know that time counting down in the room was a little challenging lack of follow-through um, it's tough for us to work with others that just don't get the job done in terms of they just don't follow through what they're supposed to do. Unexpected changes are a little bit challenging. And um, for a lot of us that are gold, having to do a lot of things at once and the whole multitasking can be challenging. 
Okay, so now that you've kind of have a general overview of all of the colors, our strengths and our stressors, we're going to move into another breakout room. And this time we're going to talk specifically about what role does your true color play when working with others. And let's take, uh, we'll be in here for about, we'll come back at 1110 group if that's okay with you all. So in our groups, we're gonna talk about what role does your true color play when working with others? All right, and give us just a minute. We're gonna adjust that time really quick and then we'll send you right into those breakout rooms. When we do this again, the gold is going to need a bigger screen and we're also going to need some lines to put that on because we like to be organized and a checklist, please. Well, uh, somehow the oranges were not able to unmute themselves and that was not okay with us. So we're just saying, we had to type in the thing and we just want to talk to each other and make pretty pictures. <laughs> all right, well, let's, let's bring it all together. Let's talk about all of these things. So, so let's talk about Joe. Yeah, for those of us who are green, we are big thinkers. In a group, we, we are problem solvers. We bring a, ta a technical aspect. We're very systematic, and we come up with some pretty cre creative solutions that might make some people go, whoa, but then we weave it all together with the, as we harness the power of the rest of our teammates. Absolutely. Okay, and uh, Marlene, what about gold? What does gold bring to the group? You know, we're detail-oriented, we're an organizer, we're committed. I love someone said we're the CEO of ideas, um, so we're moving those on forward. And I would just like to say that the gold stays organized to drive great progress. Awesome. Very good. Stacy, oranges, what do you guys do for us? Oh, you're muted. Don't mute it. Don't mute me. Um, we are flexible. We like action. We're the energizers. We're the creative ones. We make your tasks fun. If you need somebody to speak in front of people, that's going to be us. Um, we bring fun snacks. That was one of them also that was said. We just try to bring the whole fun, but we also can focus in and do whatever you need us to do. So we also have, you know, our second colors are blue and gold and things like that. So, you know, we're not just all fun. We can get the job done too. If you just let us know what you need. That's right. And the blues are there to unite all of, all of us. We are harmonious, we're the relationship builders, we try to inspire others and just make sure everyone feels included and everyone has a role on the team. So it's really under, important to understand how all of these colors work together to understand ourselves, and the strengths and weaknesses of, of not only ourselves, but those that were around. It helps with conflict management. Blue people can attest to that. Uh, it certainly helps with team building and it helps us each grow as leaders. And it teaches us to motivate and appreciate others, especially in the way that is most meaningful for them. So Stacy, what do you think about this palette over here? Well, to summarize this whole activity, everybody, we just want you to know these things. And one, there is no color that is the best color. We are all equally important and all equally awesome. I think every color type has strengths and weaknesses. And I think it's important to know your strengths as well as your weaknesses because you wanna surround yourself with people that have the strengths that you don't have. That's gonna make you a better leader. So I need the orange and green and blue people in my lives to help complete my leadership style. Even though we look today at our, our primary color, the color that we identify with most, we all have these colors in us 
to some degree. Even though my primary color is green, I also have some orange and gold and blue um, that really shine through whenever I need it. Uh, and just understanding how we operate and, and what our personal style is really does help us to become a better leader. I use true colors literally every single day of my life and working with other people. And I think the thing that I would like to leave you all with is that, yes, you do have all these colors in you, but you also have strengths and gifts that make you the most amazing, important person that you are. And so I want you to lean into and embrace those things that make you unique and make you awesome. So if you are blue or orange or gold or green today, that's exactly who you need to be today. And we're so grateful to have you, and it's going to make you an incredible leader in your KAY club. Yeah, so as you navigate this next school year, just celebrate your strengths, recognize your stressors, and then appreciate what you bring to the team. Um, you honoring you, the leader that you are, makes us better and stronger today. Stick around for more activities. We're turning it back over to Cheryl and crew. Great. Thank you, ladies. That was awesome. I have one question for the group. Uh, how I know that you kind of said that, but if I was uh, the president of my club, would I want to put all the blues in a team together and all the greens in a team together? Would that be good? Any one of you? No, 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 no. That, that's kind of what I was trying to say is we need a little bit of everything. So I might be the organizer, but I need those orange people with those big ideas, the blue people that can build those relationships, um, the green people that are going to help us troubleshoot and do our technical and kind of analytical thinking. And then those gold people, we're going to come out, come in and help organize that whole crew. We have a little bit of everything, but if I just have all gold people, um, I love us golds, but it might not be the most fun outing. We got to pull some of the orange in. And if the orange are just completely out of control, we're not going to get a meeting finished. So we got to all work together. It takes a little bit of everything. And I've got to know what my weaknesses are and pull what other people's strengths are to cover my weaknesses and complement what I do. Thanks, Marlene. I heard that, but I just felt like it was necessary to explain that again. Uh, you know, this activity is awesome, and we are going to make it available for you online uh, as a handout. So if you want to have this uh, information, campers and, and uh, students, and take this uh, and utilize this with your board uh, or your club, uh, by all means, I think it would be great as you start putting teams together and committees together uh, to do a variety of workshops during the year. So. Great, great session. Thank you, Jolene and Kelly and Stacy and Marlene. We really appreciate uh, what you've done. I'm gonna do a screen share very quickly. Oh, gotta click on it, Gleason. Okay, I'm gonna move to the next one. We're gonna move on now to the next thing. And at every live session, we are going to uh, share with you some COVID-19 service project, li project ideas. Uh, and today, my wonderful assistant, you all have heard me talk about Lindsay. Well, this is Lindsay Evans. Uh, I've been blessed to have Lindsay here five years, maybe longer. Um, it doesn't seem like it's been very long. It seems like yesterday, but Lindsay is a rock star. She does everything for the KY program, and uh, she is very, very uh, efficient and will communicate with your club and with you guys just like crazy. I mean, very, very pr uh, punctual in getting things done. So Lindsay and I decided we're gonna do the mental motivators today, and we picked the topic, and we really felt like uh, this would be a great topic to share. So I'm gonna switch screens. I'm gonna get back into another uh, and share with you on that one. All right, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So, Lindsay, I'm going to let you take the role and go for it first. All right. Can you switch me over to the next screen? Oh, well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, thank you, Cheryl. All right, thanks. All right, first, we're going to take a really quick look at the mental status, how it affects all of us and all of our needs. Shown here is the Maslow's hierarchy of need, and it's important for us to consider because we all are social animals and we move through different development stages at different times 
and we're all controlled by different emotional needs. Beyond the functional needs of basic stuff, like your food, your water, your warmth, all that kind of stuff, are the things that we're missing out of, the lack of human connection such a, that you get to have when you have your schools or your clubs or participate in a sport or get to do Scholars Bowl. It combines both biological needs and social needs, and it's portrayed in the shape of a pyramid, as you guys can see, and it puts the need of self-actualization above fundamental needs to stay safe and healthy. Once the fundamental needs are met, we move up the hierarchy for higher needs, such as the need for love and belonging, as well as a self-accomplishment. Hopefully, these service projects will fulfill this void for you and some of your club members. And Lindsay and I felt like this mental motivator, given, as she just said, everything that's going on in our world right now and all the changes would be something that everyone uh, would benefit from. So I'm going to share the first one. And uh, this mental motivator is really about starting a workout group or a, a sweat session or sesh, as Lindsay likes to call it. Uh, but we're encouraging you to think about starting a workout session. And instead of having a running club, uh, if you notice that the local gyms have been closed, some of them, uh, some of them are allowing people to get, get back in. But there are a lot of people that love to work out and they simply would like to be uh, with other people in doing this. So we would suggest that you consider starting a group uh, for online workouts to get people that need to social distance but love that group atmosphere. Uh, to be together to exercise and do whatever it might be. Uh, maybe it's a swim relay or uh, maybe it's a fundraiser for type 1 diabetes or uh, anything else you want to do. But there are a lot of things that, that if you think about it and get creative, you could certainly do uh, with having a workout online. All right, this is hosting a virtual campfire. Everyone is really missing camp this week, I know. and one of the favorite nights and events at camp, unfortunately you're missing this year, um, is having a campfire. So we said maybe do an extended family, maybe host one with your club. Um, you could do it indoors, but please be safe, or outdoors, and everyone just brings their devices outside, whether it's your phone or your tablet or whatever, and you can, get the feeling of the warm fire and the kinship that you are maybe missing at KLC or in a different environment. And you can share these, uh, hashtag KLC2020 uh, is one way that these things could be shared. So keep that in mind. Another mental motivator would be uh, to host an online competition. Uh, and many of the clubs used to co-host volleyball tournaments or other fun events. I know that those are some of the projects you continue to send in to us. Um, maybe you do a fundraiser for an online uh, cooking or basketball shootout uh, kind of a competition. Uh, the answers and the, the list is endless. Organize a few participants and play around with getting people together for something uh, that you would like to do that you enjoy as a group and uh, can't do because of social distancing. So again, uh, think outside that box and think of all the wonderful things that you could possibly do to host a competition. This is one of my favorite ones, doing a crossword puzzle or games online. Um, maybe you can ask a local senior center or retirement home um, if some of the residents would like to do a crossword puzzle with you online or um, every Thursday at three o'clock or something. Try to get into their, um, into their queue and you guys can play a crossword or do a puzzle or any other kind of game that they might enjoy. Um, they really like the interaction with someone else, I'm sure. This is great. I love this. Uh, I think this is an outstanding idea, Lindsay. Thanks. And I love this one. Uh, there are a lot of seniors and a lot of juniors for that matter and others that usually have a, a class trip or maybe each of you are normally used to taking a family vacation and that's been put on hold uh, because of things going on. So consider having a, an opportunity to virtually uh, take a trip. Uh, maybe you check out a museum because many museums and fun places have access to virtual online tours. Uh, and you can certainly uh, watch those online tours and, and put yourself in the place that uh, you are actually uh, taking an awesome vacation and it will really boost, I think, your morale a great deal. So I love this idea. I think it's awesome. 
All right, you guys have probably already done this one. Um, just a, kind of another one to keep doing it because everyone likes um, a little organized special event or birthday, getting these little drive-bys. Um, I'm sure you've seen them in your towns. Uh, keep doing them, do them for birthdays, do them for anniversaries, do them because you miss your friends. Um, it really sends a positive message and letting everyone know that you're still thinking about them. Um, Cheryl actually did a really cool one. We emailed everyone in our old KY staff and current KY staff and Dina McClure, who used to be a sponsor in Osawatomie and I believe was on camp staff. Is that right, Cheryl? Yes. Um, turned 100 years old this year and she ended up getting over 500 cards and it made her day. Probably made her year. So um, do something fun like that. Do a card party, do a drive by. People really still want to hear from people, get that connection. And I know a person that lives 100 years has a lot of uh, highs, but Dina told me for sure this was just absolutely unimaginable. So uh, we appreciate everybody that participated in that. You know, this morning we talked and, and our two, Kelly and, and uh, Stacy showed us how you can have an online scavenger hunt. Uh, there are also other things that you can do uh, to organize uh, in your neighborhood. Uh, you can do an I Spy game or just get out with that colored chalk and write on sidewalks. We've seen a ton of these uh, all over town. We've seen them in people's windows. Uh, they're great ways to bring people together and yet keep a distance. Uh, but those little things like that and, and writing on rocks and painting rocks and putting those around the neighborhood. I mean, there are all sorts of things you can do um, to really brighten the spirits of everyone. Sure is. All right, this would be a really good one um, to do for clubs. If you guys are gonna have a virtual meeting maybe um, before school gets started, depending on when you guys decide that you're starting, is a corn theme day or a week. Um, you have to embrace what we're living in and this is the world that we're living in and we might as well make it fun, guys. So grab your club or your group, maybe it's your volleyball friends or your cross country team or who knows? And just have a, hey, we're going to do a group theme and everyone needs to dress up as a superhero. So the possibilities are endless and it's so much fun. That's great too. You know, we've given you a lot of different things here to think about today. And uh, we certainly hope that some of these ideas will kind of spark um, an idea in your head. And, and uh, as you brainstorm with some of the members in your club, you'll come up with some great things that you can do to involve as many people as possible, not only in your club, uh, but also reach out to your school, your community, and, and certainly your neighborhood as well. And here's just a list of some other ideas that we found that I'm sure many clubs have done, um, or maybe it'll just spark an idea in your brain for a mental motivator service project that you guys can do with your club. Um, be sure that you post them. Like Cheryl said, if you guys do a service project, we'd love to see it. Hashtag KLC2020. Um, you can share them on Facebook at our Facebook page, Kansas Association for Youth. Um, dash KY or on Instagram at KY underscore EST dot 1946 or you can tweet them out at Kansas underscore KY. We would love to see your service projects and continue to share them with other clubs so they can get great ideas. Thanks Lindsay. These are some great ideas that and Cheryl. some great uh, ideas and substance so that you can move forward as you uh, get ready for your year and, and uh, our mental health, certainly, folks, in, in these times is very, very important. And uh, if you're feeling a little down or blue, uh, I can pretty much tell you you're not by yourself. Uh, so very, very important to make sure that we continue to move forward and, and uh, keep other people at, at heart as well. So thanks, Lindsay, for your comp all of your help and uh, for putting this together. Lindsay's a rock star. So Anytime. My pleasure, Great. guys. No, she's awesome. Hey, we're going to have a drawing. Uh, and every day here at, at Virtual KY Camp, we have a drawing. So it's very, very important uh, that you be present to win. And uh, I will try to announce that at the beginning tomorrow. You don't wanna, you don't wanna jump off before uh, the end of the show, so to speak. So uh, what we're going to do, I have a box. And in this box, um, box, box, in this box are all the names of all the people that registered to attend Virtual KLC. 
And I know that some of you registered on behalf of your club. So if you're Sublette or Rose Hill or some of the other people that I saw in groups uh, and that one registration name is picked, you're gonna have to decide who gets the object. Uh, but it's very, very important that you be here. So after I draw your name, you need to get into the chat box and let Lindsay know uh, that you are here. Uh, and you need to give her, well, she will have your address because you had to give that when you registered. So uh, I'm gonna draw the first one. And this one is for the cool uh, gray shirt. It's a large, it's awesome. And so the first name I drew was DJ Schroeder from Derby High School. Is I hope DJ is here. So DJ, uh, please get in the, the chat box and let everybody know that you're here. Uh, and we will mail these to your home address. That's where we're gonna mail them. Uh, the next item is a, navy, a blue uh, service over self t-shirt. It is an extra large. We're just giving a variety of, of shirts out and, and items out today. And so I'm gonna reach in and grab another one. And this one is Hadley Topping from Mays Middle School. So Hadley, if you're online today, uh, you're going to get the blue shirt and we're excited about that. And it will be coming your way as well. The third thing we want to give out today is a cinch bag, and it's green, derby green, should have been for the first person, uh, but it's a great cinch bag that you can use uh, during the year for all your KY items when you have a meeting. So this person will be Oakley O'Donnell from Arc City High School. So get, give it up for Oakley. Oakley's going to get a bag uh, to put all his cool stuff in uh, as he gets ready to start the school year. Whoop, I went too far. Whoop, I went too far. Can I go backwards? You should be able to go backwards. Um, oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. I just got there you go. a second. I had a moment, which is not unusual. Item number four, way cool. We have staff member, member Jessica Herlinger, who said, Cheryl, I'm going to make a couple mugs uh, to give out as door prizes. This is way cool. It's glitter. It's really, really neat. Uh, and this is going to get mailed to your house at all as well. So uh, the next person as I reach in and draw is Maddie Wiltsey. Well, she's a staff member. Sorry. That ain't going to happen, Maddie. So sorry. You would have <laughs> loved it. Is Tasha, now she's a sponsor. Well, okay, I'll give this out. Tasha Steele from Yates Center. If anybody from Yates Center is online, uh, they need to let us know and we will mail this cup to that club. So didn't want to exclude her. And then finally, we've got some more shirts. We've got a red shirt, uh, and these are set sail, leave your ship. Uh, and we've got a couple of gold shirts. Uh, one is also lights, camera, action, and one is set sail, lead your ship, and it's yellow. So I'm going to draw those three right now for the red shirt. You get one of these. Uh, we have Sophie Woods from Arc City middle school so that's the red shirt girl mix these up grab another one in here and for a gold shirt we have brooklyn kelly from atchison middle school brooklyn yay for you and the last prize for today will go to well one of our area presidents yes Yessie Hernandez from Holcomb High School. I have her as well. And again, you must be attending uh, to be able to get these cool prizes. So thank you for the opportunity. We will leave those names out, uh, but leave the rest of them here. Uh, so if you're back with us tomorrow, you're gonna have an opportunity uh, to get another door prize. So tomorrow we've got some great items as well. So thank you uh, for the chance to do that. Another thing that we're making available to all of you, since we're not having camp this summer, but we are, uh, is we have designed a virtual KLC t-shirt. And the staff all have those on today. It's hard for you to see when we sit here at our computers, uh, but we have these on and you can see the neat design on the front. Uh, and there's also a big design on the back. Uh, so if this is something that you would like, uh, you can see the information here. Uh, you can see the address down at the bottom. Uh, you can only pay, or we're going to do this all online, so you pay with a credit card or PayPal, and you can see the prices indicated there on the screen. And again, uh, this information is on our website, so uh, you'll be able to go on and see this information, and, and hopefully if that's something you want to have, uh, we would love for you or your club uh, to get a part, be a part of 
uh, stronger together with this shirt. So thank you for the opportunity to share that uh, with you as well. You know, as we move forward uh, and in today's session, I want to remind you that, you know, we had the opportunity today to come to you, to see your smiling faces, uh, to know that uh, we all wish we were at Rock Springs, but we're not, and we're making the best of the situation that we have. And so uh, we appreciate the staff members that have shared some really, really important information on True Colors today. We've tried to give you some ideas for energizers within your club uh, that you could do virtually or in person. Uh, certainly uh, the, the motivators, the mental motivators, service project ideas. Uh, we've tried to give you some great ideas uh, so that you can think about what you might do to make a difference uh, in the lives of others. And I can guarantee that when you do service uh, for others, you're serving yourself as well, because there's something awfully special about helping other people. It warms your heart. It makes you feel good. It puts a little, little jump and a little kick into your step uh, each day. So I love this thing. I'm going to be strong today. I tried it yesterday and I think I'm hooked. I really am. Um, again, you are stronger than you know. Each one of you are important, you're valued, you're appreciated for who you are and what you bring to the table. And we couldn't be prouder of you. We miss you. Uh, we can't wait to see you again. We know uh, it's going to be an interesting year, but we're very, very optimistic that we will have KY events and continue to move forward uh, in a very, very positive direction. As we end today, I do want to make sure I share my appreciation uh, with DECA. DECA is the organization that is helping us record all of the sessions that you're going to have an opportunity to see and also to bring this session to us live today. Uh, we have three people on their staff. There are many on their staff that are awesome, but we have three that have KY backgrounds. And their CEO, Lori Alvarado, uh, we appreciate Lori giving us the green light to let the group uh, take on this project. We're very, very indebted to them. And then also our own Kelly Nutter, who's a member of the DECA staff. And all of us have been working really closely uh, with Lydia Fuquay and we, Kelly Garcia, sorry, uh, Lydia Fuquay. And we appreciate everything that Lydia has done to uh, work with this crazy staff uh, to get some pretty cool uh, sessions recorded for all of you so that you can have a super fantastic uh, KAY year. Everything we did today is gonna be recorded. So if you want to go back and see anything that was on here today, you're going to be able to do that. To get credit for getting a gold award, though, we really want those people to attend live. And so we have track of everybody that's here today, and that will be uh, a requirement for that award if you want to. But don't not come back tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to be right back. We've got a lot of great things in store tomorrow. One of the highlights of tomorrow is going to be your area presence. Uh, they are missing camp just like you, and our area presidents are going to be here tomorrow. You're going to get to go into a breakout room uh, with your area members. So uh, get everybody on board in area four, three, two, one, five, six, whatever it is, uh, and get them to attend tomorrow. You're going to pick an area project for the year. Folks, we may not be able to be in person, but we're going to continue to do the things that we do in KAY. We want to try to make this year as normal as possible. So. As we leave today, thank you so very, very much for being with us. We love you, we miss you, uh, and we believe in you a great deal. So we will see you tomorrow morning uh, at 9.45, and we're going to have that awesome PowerPoint from KLC uh, 2019 for you. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.